thousand less horsepower. Oh my goodness, those four turbos. I don't know if Eddie and Clayton are keeping up in the Aris, but I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I really care. I apologize if it's windy. It's a Grand Sport. The top is off. Uh, it feels so good. It's like 65 degrees right now. Blue skies. We're in Dubai. Guys, go follow Eddie and Clayton. They're getting the shots right now. Clayton is keeping up with a Bugatti and he farts. <laughs> I don't know if there's a more appropriate views on views. We got the quad turbocharged W16 with the Burj Khalifa there in the back. <laughs> I wish I could convey to you guys what the acceleration is like. It just like compresses your chest straight into the seat. Ooh, it's early, but we're we're waking up quickly. The Middle East Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. I still have like pillow marks on my face because it's so incredibly early, but sometimes in life, a quad turbocharged W16, uh, 1,001 horsepower, it'll wake you up. Guys, so check this out. The license plate A14, that is actually worth more than the entire car. Here in Dubai, like low license plates are worth an absolute fortune. Oh, it's nice and warm. It's kind of sort of chilly here in Dubai. This is actually winter season, which means like 85, 90 degrees, because in the summer, it's like 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so we're just chilling. There's like a cars and coffee event going on over here. Uh, but uh, to all the Ford execs watching today's video, here I am riding in a Bugatti in the Middle East and I'm still representing. So if you see that GT application, just kind of, just slide it up a couple notches. Like not to the top because that would look kind of obvious, but like, just like, just, just. Where's that blue carbon fiber? There it is. Exposed blue carbon fiber with polished chrome. We got that W16, we got four turbos, 1,001 horsepower, and look at that muffler. Could you imagine? I wonder, has anyone ever straight piped a Veyron? You'd lose so much weight there in the back end. We got launch control right there. We got the horsepower gauge, 1,001. Top speed, 420 kilometers an hour. This spot right here, this will unlock top speed happiness. 254 miles an hour. When this car was brand new, it was the world's fastest open top roadster. It weighs in at 2,240 kilos. 650, but check out this Defender right here. This thing is wicked. The Defender game in Dubai is unlike anywhere else in the world. And I shouldn't, I, I don't want to offend Jeep Nation, but should I, should I get a Defender? This thing is so sick. Like, boy, I'm sure this is probably $100,000 easily, if not more. We got the GT3 RS. Just the variety here at the Dubai Cars and Coffee is amazing. I don't know if this is actually Dubai Cars and Coffee. That's sort of what Clayton and I are Dubai dubbing Drive. it. It's Dubai Drives. The more you know, Clayton Stark, hooking it up. 812, super fast. That blue is beautiful. Whoa, I like it. Should I swap out the R8 for an RS3? Oh, could you do it one more time? One more time, one more time, one more time. <laughs> Dubai Cars and Coffee is effectively over. Wait for it. All right, time to roll. The Defender game here in Dubai is crazy. Look at that old school one. It's got the tire on the hood, windshield down. All right, we're headed to go get some breakfast. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I've been in a handful of Bugattis this year on a Veyron Coupe. I've never been in a Grand Sport. You can hear the turbo so, so well with the open top. If you get a Bugatti, get an open top. You gotta hear that W16. Guys, it's that famous bridge here in Dubai. Like the wave, I mean, you can see, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to explain it. Whoa, this is sick. Bugatti Veyron is like the quintessential car of Dubai. We're out at this famous bridge. We got views on views. Uh, I think we're gonna go get breakfast now. This is so much fun. Guys, like if you ever get the chance to come to Dubai, do it. It's just a, such an amazing place. Um, I'm ruining Eddie's shot. I feel like Casey Neistat, he might have like skateboarded behind an Aventador or something right here. It also looks like a lot of the locals come out here and have a lot of fun doing some burnouts. Apparently security is on the prowl, so we're doing just like a short, a short little photo shoot. Uh, we want to get the Veyron and the Defender next to each other. You know, the Veyron's kind of like quintessential Dubai, and the Defender is also quintessential Dubai, but like opposite ends of the spectrum. I feel like I should say something. I, I, I don't really know what to say, but I feel like I should say something. This is just so cool to have the Veyron and the Defender. My brother owns a 110 Defender. This thing is so cool though, because you got the windshield down, you got the tire on the hood, the extra spare in the back, and then we have the Veyron quintessential Dubai wing up and flex mode blue carbon chrome 
and we're at this amazing bridge. You can see the Burj Khalifa somewhere through there. Whoa. I don't know the story of this, but this was one fat burnout. Are you kidding me? Whoa. There's just something about riding in a Bugatti in Dubai. It just it just feels right. You know, it, it, it's the right thing to do. Uh, unfortunately though, we're, we're back in the Yaris, but it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Alright, we're back in the Yaris. We're in the back seat of the Yaris. Uh, Veyron Yaris. I mean, really sixes when you think about it. I mean, there's a lot of... Anyway, we are headed this way to Abu Dhabi. Kind of an unexpected sequence in the vlog. We are headed to the Grand Mosque. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. I don't know if we're going to be allowed to film in here. I've heard that we are, but... Um, I uh, Yeah, we'll see. Welcome to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque here in Abu Dhabi. Dun 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 dun. Oh, sorry, that was annoying. They confiscated my microphone, so if the audio is not as good as usual, um, yeah, it's it's down in security. I'm gonna be able to pick it up afterward. Also, I had to wear these baggy sweatpants, but uh, this place is beautiful. It's hot. It's sunny. It's bright. Uh, so we're gonna scoot on in there and uh, well, see what we can see. Whoa! This is the Sheikh Zayed Mosque. It's hot too. What do you guys think of my new sweatpants? <laughs> they fit perfectly. They fit so good, don't they, Clayton? So this guy, he decided hey. to wear shorts. Hey, whoa, yo, bro. <laughs> the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque here in Abu Dhabi. So I think we're gonna go get something to eat and then we're headed off to Yaz Marina. That's like the world famous Formula One racetrack. Um, so yeah, enjoy this view because when it's gone, it's gone. I know yesterday I said one of my 2019 goals was to get in shape, but it's 50% off here at Dairy Queen. We, we didn't have a choice. I got the hot cocoa blizzard, so <laughs> pretty excited. Chocolate oil. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. Oh my god, whipped cream too, no go. way. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're typing away, but hey, I'm on vacation. As soon as I get back to Utah, I'm gonna be working out every day, vegetables, eating healthy, but for the time being, I'm on vacation. Like, it's holiday. I think I've overindulged. I think I'm gonna get a tummy ache. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to say tummy ache. Okay, we're headed to Yas Marina, like right now. Check this out, we got the orange LP560-2. Whoa, that's sick. Welcome here to Yaz Marina, where you dock, die, discover, dun 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 dun. Oh, hello camera. Whoa, dude, look at that yacht. What? The Polaris. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what are these? Oh, Chiron. What? No. Why do all these have to be under covers? Eddie, go rip it off. This is crazy. So. We're here at Yas Marina Circuit, and check this out. We got a row of hyper cars, and they're all covered. We got a Ford GT, and right here, we have a Bugatti Chiron. I wanna take the cover off, trust me, I want to. But, uh, well, there's security, like, everywhere. It's a $300 million yacht. This could be right, this could be wrong. I'm pretty sure this is an Aston Martin 177, one of 77 in the entire world. It's got the blue wheels. I'm pretty sure we saw this car off in Florida, actually. It's owned by the man who owns this yacht. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a 177. I could be right, I could be wrong. Aston Martin Lagonda right here. We think this might be the swept tail, which is worth roughly $12 million. It is the most expensive, like, new car ever built. I'm getting in trouble. Security just told us to get lost. This is insane. We have a $300 million yacht right there. We have a Bugatti Chiron. I'm pretty sure that's the Rolls Royce swept tail. We have the Aston Martin Lagonda. This is just crazy. We got a new Ford GT, the old Ford GT. Guys, check that out. Whoa, the mystery. Just a bunch of hypercars parked outside this mega yacht. That's the lady who kicked me out right there. Whoa, what's that last one? Oh, that's a Black Series. We got a new Ford GT right there as well. No way. Oh, tunnel run. Windows. Hit it. Oh, cameras, 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 cameras. We got speed cameras. The Yaris is so fast, we might have just got, we might have just got ticketed. So we are headed back to Dubai, um, but just let, let the 1.5 liter scream a little bit. Sounds pretty good. Check out the new ride, Ford Mustang. This thing is sick. Do you see that rooftop right there? That's our goal, right there. I have to put you guys in the backpack here real quickly though, because like, cameras aren't real, well, I gotta put you in the backpack. More to come, more to come. <laughs> we're alive, we're well, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are, we are 100% allowed to be here, absolutely. 
but I promised you views on views. I don't think we have ever had a spot on the vlog with better views on views. Just like, just check this out. I was like, are you kidding me? Burj Khalifa, they're front and center. Just even the highway system is amazing. Whoa, check this out. World's tallest building. And then way out there, you can see the Burj Al Arab. You can even see like the Marina District. You got the Persian Gulf. Whoa. This is so, so sick. These views right here, these are compliments of Rayhan right here. Guys, go follow him on Instagram. He Thank is you. the hook up the homie. He chases rooftops. He chases views on views here in Dubai. So go much. follow him. There's a link in the description below. He is hooking us up right now. We, so we were up in that building. We weren't actually in that one, but uh, yeah, we're back in the Mustang. It's like five o'clock. I, I don't know where we're going. We're here at the Dubai Mall. We're gonna go do some old fashioned car spotting and immediately look who we found. This is extremely rare. This is a unicorn. It is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Cabriolet. That's right, you've never heard of it because it doesn't exist. So this guy got a front end GT3 bumper, he got fenders, he cut out the vents, he's got the orange wheels, he's got the GT3 RS, all the sticker pack, the wing and everything, but, it, but it's a cabriolet. This is a cabriolet. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, wrong color, wrong color, wrong color, close it, close it, close it, close it. Close it. There, there's nothing left to film. Uh, that's going to effectively end today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out. <laughs>